What's up friends, this is Danny and today we're going to be going over all of the current caption styling options inside of Brevity and how you can use them to super quickly create Mr. Beast and Hermosi style captions all inside of Premiere. Brevity is our new Premiere tool that makes generating animated captions inside of Premiere an absolute breeze. You can use it to automatically edit your footage, generate animated captions, and import AI suggested emojis and stock footage. Let's start by first transcribing our clip with brevity, which is much more accurate than the built-in Premiere transcription. Set your in and out points, and then head up to the captions button inside of brevity, click on it, and then let's just click on create. Once your video is transcribed, you will see a new caption layer pop up inside of your sequence. Also, the captions will populate inside of the tool here, and you'll be able to start editing all of the different captions and styles right inside the Brevity tool in Premiere. So let's go ahead and pop open the Style tab and get a look at some of the different styling options for the Brevity captions. So at the top here, you can see a little preset drop-down bar, and when you click inside of here, you'll be able to see some of your saved presets, which I've already gone ahead and saved my Mr. Beast and Hermosi presets. But in the trending tab, you also be able to see a bunch of a different trending caption styles that come built into the tool. And we're always adding to this list, so it's going to continue to grow. If you want to just super quickly use one of these, just click on it and it will populate inside of your brevity tool and also will populate inside up. of the video. Yeah, <clears throat> so definitely the most challenging. In this first section, we have options for styling the entire block of captions. So we have options for the position, and we can set this to be the bottom, or we can set it to be the middle or the top. And if we want to further control the position of these captions, we can go ahead and play with the padding, which is going to increase the space between either the top or the bottom uh, parts of the video here. So I'll go ahead and set that back to be 10. And then below that, we have options for the scale. So if we want to scale up or scale down our captions, we can do that super quickly through here. Now, below that, we have an animation option for the entire block of text here. So as you can see in this preset, it's set to be zoom, but we can go ahead and set this to be pop, which will scale up the text. We can set it to be slide up, which will slide up the text. We can set it to be slide left, which will slide the text to be left. And we can also set this to be either fade, which will set the opacity to be zero and slowly fade on the text or zoom, which will scale down the text. So a bunch of different animation presets here to play around with. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so as you can see, most here is the slide up and go ahead and check out the zoom. Yeah. <clears throat> so and then below that, we have options for the intensity and then the speed. So the intensity is going to be how intense that animation is. So we can set this all the way down to be 0.2 if we don't really want that intense of an animation. Yeah, <clears throat> so definitely or we can crank that way up if we want a very intense intro animation for the blocks here. Yeah, <clears throat> so definitely the most challenging. And of course we have the speed option. And so we have it set to 0.2 right now, which means it's pretty slow. But if we want this to be fairly quick, we can set that to be like 1.3. Yeah. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's much faster here. The next section allows us to control the main text styles. So we can choose our different fonts from inside of here. And this is going to be all the fonts that you have installed on your computer. And below that, we can also change the font style. So we can change between, if we have Arial selected, there's black, bold MT, italic, all of those different options, depending on what font you have selected. Next to that, we have the leading, and the leading is going to be the amount of space between each individual line. So if we go ahead and crank this up, you'll see that this line becomes more separated, or we can crank that all the way down and have that be super close together but we'll leave that back at 69, nice. But next to that, we have a tracking, and tracking is going to be how much space is in between each letter. So if we crank this tracking up, you'll see that these letters become more spaced apart. But I'll set that back to be two. And below that, we can control the text case. So if we want it to be all lowercase, or all uppercase, or we can just set it to be normal, which is this middle one. And of course we can change the text color from inside of here. Just by clicking on that little rectangle, we can select a new color from inside of his color picker or enter in our own custom hex code. Below that, we can control the stroke width and then also the stroke color of our main text. In the next section, we have some additional styling options to configure how we want our captions to look. 
So we have the following, and when this is disabled, we're not going to show any of the following words in our captions, but only going to appear as they are spoken. Raise the bridge round to increase. We can go ahead and enable that and then set this opacity for the following words to be lower. Set that to be like 50. And now you can start to see that those following words are not completely opaque. Below that, we have the option to enable the background. And so the background is going to be a little rectangle that is behind each spoken word as it is said. So when disabled, there's not going to be any background, but when you have that enabled, you'll be able to select a background color. And below that, we have the drop shadow. So if you click inside of here, you'll be able to enable the drop shadow or disable it. And you'll be able to select the color as well from inside of here. So maybe we want something like that. And of course, we can change the opacity, the distance, the angle, and the softness. The last two sections allow us to set specific styles for the active text or the word that's currently being said, and then also the highlighted text. So most of these parameters are the same as the main text options, but when enabled, they are going to override that main text styling. Also, it is in here where we can add specific animations to words. So let's go ahead and make sure that active text is enabled, and then let's jump into this animation dropdown. So right now it's set to slide up. And if we can go ahead and just give this a quick preview. Definitely the most challenging year, I think professionally for me. And I you can see that those words are sliding up into place as they're being said. Now there's a bunch of different styles inside of here that we can pick from, such as pop, slide left, fade, blur, most of which are the same as the block animation styles. But you can go ahead and just play around with these as much as you want. And just like the block animation styles, there's options for intensity, so how intense you want that animation to be, and then also speed. So below that, we have options for tracking, text case, text color, stroke width, and stroke color, all of which are very similar to the styling options that we have for the main text section. But the difference here is that these options are only going to be applied to the active spoken word. So we can go ahead and increase the tracking here. And as you can see, the tracking is only being changed for that active word. All of the rest of the text is remaining the same and it's inheriting those text styling options that we set above. So again, active text is only going to be applied to the actively spoken word. Now the section below that is going to be very similar to active text, but these options are only going to be applied to highlighted words inside of our captions. So speaking of highlighted words, let's go ahead and exit out of here, head over to the highlight tool. And when this is selected, we can go ahead and just start clicking on words to automatically highlight them. So as you can see, I clicked on repeatable and that turned that teal color. And that's because in the style options, we have the text color set to be this teal. Now we can go ahead and just start clicking on different words inside of here that we want to manually highlight. Or if we don't want to do this manually, we can go ahead and click on the suggest highlights, which is going to use AI to automatically suggest a bunch of different highlight words for our transcript here. Cool, so AI has gone through and it's highlighted some different words inside of here that it thinks might be relevant or important or stand out. Next, let's just go ahead and change up the formatting of the paragraphs and the lines inside of our captions. So right now we have two lines and a maximum character per line of 23 characters. For vertical video, we typically want to decrease this character per line so that we have much shorter lines and can have bigger text. And also I'm gonna go ahead and set this number of lines to be one. So now, super easily, we just changed all of that formatting. Year, have the, um, only I a few that. amount of um, words per so line, and only year, one line appearing the bridge round to Now, if we need to change any spelling or grammar issues, we can go ahead and click on this text tool. And now we can just click on a line here change any of the words that we want, and it will be applied just like that. Now that you understand all of the different styling options for brevity, let's use them to create the popular Mr. B style. First, we need to download the font that he uses, which is called Comica Axis, and I'll link that in the description. But once installed, just restart the brevity tool so that it gets loaded up inside of the tool. Great, once you've done that, let's go ahead and start by formatting some of the lines and paragraphs to more closely mimic the Mr. B style. So he likes to use just one line, and he also likes to have a small amount of characters per line. So I'll go ahead and set this to be maybe like 15, and that sounds good. And then let's pop open the style window, and let's go ahead and set the position to be bottom. We'll set the scale to be like 150. We'll set the padding to be maybe 25. We'll set the block animation to be pop so that it scales up as the line comes on. And we'll set that intensity maybe to be like 1.8. 
and set the speed to be one. Now for the font, let's go ahead and just search Comica. Comica Access, there it is. As soon as we click on it, it's going to be applied to our captions and we'll set the tracking to be one here. We'll leave the text to be white and then let's set the stroke to be eight and we'll leave that as black. Great, we want to include the following words so we'll, we will leave this enabled and then we don't need a background but let's enable the drop shadow. So we'll go ahead and set the color to be black. Let's set the distance to be 13. Yep, we'll set the angle to be 135, opacity 100, and then softness, let's set this to be 22. Awesome. Then let's go ahead and enable the active text. And we want this to have no animation style, and we want the tracking to be one to mimic the regular text. And then let's set that stroke to be eight so that it mimics that regular text right there. For the text color, we'll set this to be yellow. I already have this nice yellow in here, but maybe we want a little bit more. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good. We can leave the highlighted text disabled, but if you wanna have highlighted text, feel free to enable this. We'll probably set the style to be none as well. Uh, set the tracking to be one again and then choose whatever text color that you want that pops. And again, we'll set the stroke to be eight and set that to be black as well. Now, if you don't want to go through and manually do all of this, feel free to just pop open the presets and inside of the presets, as soon as we're finished with this video, we'll have a new preset called Beast, which will look a lot like this. And you can just click on this to automatically apply this style. Great, but let's give this a quick preview and see how we're looking. Yeah, <clears throat> so definitely the most challenging year, I think professionally for me, and I, I love that. Um, so at the beginning of the year, we raised the bridge round. Just like the Mr. B style captions, we can easily create Hermosi style captions inside of Brevity. So first things first, let's go ahead and download the Hermosi font, which is going to be called Montserrat. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. But once you've gone ahead and installed that, make sure to restart the tool so that it loads up properly. Let's go ahead and just make sure our formatting is looking good for our lines and amount of words per line. So we can go ahead and Hermosi does a short amount of lines as well. Sometimes he has one, sometimes he has two. We'll leave it at one. And then for characters, I might do a little bit more characters than Mr. Beast does. Maybe something like 19. Let's pop open the style window and go to town here. So just like the Mr. Beast preset, we also have a Hermosi preset included. When we release this video, it's going to be located in the trending section. Just go inside of here, find Hermosi, click on that and it will automatically apply to your captions. But let's go back inside of here. Let's go to the position and set it to be middle. We'll set the padding to be zero. Maybe scale down the scale a little bit here, maybe like 137. We'll set the block animation to be slide up. And then in the intensity, I'm gonna set this to be pretty low, something like 0.3. And then for the speed, I'll set this to be one. Now for the font, let's go and find Montserrat. There it is, go ahead and click on that. Make sure that the black style is selected inside of here. And then let's go ahead and set the tracking to be zero. We'll go ahead and set the text case to be all caps. And set the text color to be yellow inside of here. We'll go ahead and set the stroke to be three and leave it at black. Now we'll go down to this other styling section here. Make sure that following is enabled. We'll set the background to be disabled and then drop shadow. Let's set that to be enabled. Hermosi likes to do a nice like glow effect to his text and we can mimic that using this drop shadow. Set the color of the drop shadow to be a nice yellow. We'll go ahead and set the opacity to be like 70, distance to be zero, angle can leave at 135 and then we'll set the softness to be 70 as well. Now we got a nice looking glow effect going on here. Let's go ahead and leave the active text disabled for this one, and then we can enable the highlighted text. We can go ahead and set this text to be some type of teal. Let's make sure to set the text case to be all caps, and then set the stroke down to be three again. Great, so the last thing that you might wanna do is add some emojis to go along with what's being talked about inside of our captions here. So thankfully brevity makes this super easy to do. You don't have to go like manually identify those sections for an emoji, go find the emoji, import them, resize them. No, forget all that. Let's go ahead and just click on this media tool and then just click on the suggest emojis button. The AI is going to look at all of our different captions and identify some great sections inside of our captions that can be represented by an emoji. 
then it's going to send back all of those different emoji suggestions and we can import them all automatically straight into our sequence, automatically sized, ready to go at the right times. So Brevity has gone through and suggested 26 different emojis to go along with our captions inside of here. So let's take a look at some of these. For this section, we're talking about raising a bridge round. So where we have a money emoji, uh, we raised total just under a million dollars. We have this kind of money laughing face emoji. We have all of these different emojis that represent what's being talked about inside of the scene. So we can go ahead and if we want to change the timing of these, you can just go ahead and like hover over the end of it and adjust the time. We can either manually import these emojis by clicking on this button here, or we can go ahead and click on the import pending. And this is going to just import all of the different emojis straight into our timeline at the right times. And it's also going to resize them to fit right above where the captions are. So we've gone through and imported all of those emojis and now our clip's looking pretty good. I think we're good to go here. So we, we had to exit the company because we were not able to continue raising any more capital. Um, and so luckily there was a great company uh, that acquired us. I can't speak too much about it, unfortunately, because of the confidentiality. Uh, they have some super exciting things they want to do with the business uh, going forward. So it's going to be exciting to see uh, how it grows. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you learned just how easy it is to create animated captions using Brevity. We have many more animation presets and features coming soon. So head on over to brevity.pro and sign up now. Let us know if there's anything that you would like to see included in the tool or how we can make it even better. If you're interested in learning about the AutoCut tool and how it can take long form podcasts, documentaries, and other long form content and automatically create social ready edits, check out our other demo video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.